The CP Group is very proud to have installed this 35 ton per hour single stream system for public services here in Fort Worth, Texas. It features all the latest technologies from our five companies, whether it's disc screen technology, optical sorters, balers, air classification, or system controls. We seamlessly integrate the technology from all five companies into one big system. The system generates high quality commodities. For example, the disc screens generate cardboard, newspaper, mix paper. The optical sorters generate plastic commodities such as PET and HDPE. And we use air classification to clean up the mixed broken glass. A new state-of-the-art material recovery facility has been installed in the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas. It's owned and operated by Republic Services and capable of processing more than 140,000 tons of material every year. That's over 400 Boeing 747 airplanes. This impressive facility was custom engineered, manufactured, and installed by the CP Group based out of San Diego, California. Republic Services and CP work together closely on this project to transform this recycling system from concept to reality. The facility is capable of processing at least 35 tons per hour of residential single stream material and 25 tons per hour of commercial and industrial recyclable material from communities, businesses, and industry throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Materials processed include various types of plastics, paper, cardboard, metals, and glass. As the mixed material arrives at the facility, it is dumped from the trucks onto the tipping floor. From there, state-of-the-art equipment conveys, processes, sorts, separates, and bales the material so it can be resold and given a new life and new products. Material begins its journey through the facility by being loaded into a metering bin that consists of a feed conveyor and drum feeder to load the system with material. The drum feeder features a heavy-duty rotating drum with fixed paddles to tear open bags and provide a consistent flow of material to the system to maximize efficiency and throughput. On the pre-sort conveyor, large pieces of rigid plastics, metals, and trash are pulled out of the material stream to protect the system from damage and maximize the efficiency of processing and sorting equipment. Plastic films such as grocery bags are hand-picked and transported off by the film vacuum system to the patent-pending film screw compactor. The film screw compactor extrudes the plastic film into long tubes of plastic film, similar to a sausage maker. The pre-compressed tubes of film can then be stored and baled at a later point in time. Mechanical sorting plays an important role in the facility, starting with a series of patented disc screens to separate material by size and shape. The first disc screening process, using the OCC screen, removes cardboard from the rest of the stream. The OCC screen uses large serrated offset steel discs that rotate and propel the cardboard forward. The elliptical disc pattern provides additional lateral agitation to liberate other material, leaving the OCC end product well sorted and highly marketable. All other materials such as smaller fiber and containers fall through the openings and go on to the next screening step. The second disc screening process removes all glass and small pieces of material known as fines. The glass breaker disc screen uses durable cast chromium elliptical discs that don't wear out. These heavy duty spinning discs break all glass and separate it from fiber and containers at maximum efficiency without losing any aluminum or other valuable commodities. The broken and screened out glass has one more processing step to go through before becoming a saleable product. 
The Zigzag Air Separator is a fully adjustable cascade cleaning solution designed to efficiently remove unwanted lightweight materials, such as small shreds of paper and plastics, out of the heavier glass. Differences in particle shape and weight allow the lighter material to be lifted up by an airstream and transported off, leaving the heavier material, such as glass, to fall to the bottom, ensuring minimal loss of valuable recyclable material. After the fines and glass are removed from the mainstream, the remaining material, mainly containers and fiber, are conveyed to the next disc screening process in the system, the new screen. The new screen is engineered to effectively separate large fiber from mixed paper and containers. The patented finger disc technology pulls the large fiber over the top and bounces containers and small fiber back off its bottom end. There are two new screens in the system due to the high throughput requirements. While the large fiber makes its way over to the inspection stations, the small fiber and containers continue along to the CP screen, where mixed paper is sorted from containers. The long-lasting rubber cam-style discs of the CP screen feature small screen openings and are specially engineered to minimize loss of fiber to the containers, recovering even the smallest pieces of paper. All of CP's disc screens are designed for the most efficient performance possible. They generate clean, saleable fiber commodities virtually free of contaminants. To ensure that the containers are free of any small contaminants, they pass through one additional sorting step, the air knife separator. The air knife separator eliminates light materials from the material stream, such as shredded paper and foil. Now that all the paper has been captured and small debris have been eliminated, all that is left in the material stream are mixed containers, such as single-serve water bottles, tin and aluminum cans, milk jugs, detergent bottles, and various other types of plastics. At this point, it's time to separate the steel cans from the rest of the containers. The steel comes into close contact with the drum magnet, a large rotating drum that magnetically attracts the steel to it and pulls it over the top. The rest of the material falls onto a conveyor that takes the remaining material to the eddy current separator. As aluminum cans or other non-ferrous metals pass over the head pulley of the eddy current separator, an alternating electromagnetic field creates eddy currents that repel the aluminum cans away from the plastics, generating a clean aluminum fraction. At this point in the process, cardboard, mixed paper, glass, aluminum, steel, and small residue have been removed, and all that's left are mixed plastics. The mixed plastics now travel to the most high-tech and fastest separation machines in the plant, the three MSS Cirrus optical separators. These automated sorting units use advanced, high-resolution near-infrared and color sensors for the ultimate separation performance for plastics. Advanced identification algorithms and precise air jets separate the plastic by type and by color. The first Cirrus units eject all HDPE, the milk jugs, and detergent bottles. The second Cirrus sort out all PET, the soda, and water bottles. And finally, the third Cirrus automatically separates the beverage cartons as well as any mixed plastics. All of the plastics are separated now by type and color and make their way to the final inspection stations where sorters do a final quality check. After each material is separated throughout the process, they are conveyed to huge bunkers where they are stored until baling. These bunkers have specially designed electronic eyes to tell the operator when they are full and ready for baling. A large rotating screw across the top of the bunker evens material out in the bunker to maximize storage space. When a bunker is full and material is ready for baling, the operator receives a signal. The respective bunker door is open and the material falls onto the baler feed conveyor, which conveys it to the IPS baler for baling. This IPS baler is capable of handling multiple material types, everything from high-grade paper to non-ferrous metals to plastics. It provides the highest throughput rate in the industry thanks to a patented pre-compression lid. Furthermore, the two ram baler ties the bales automatically as they are pushed out, which maximizes overall throughput. Depending on the material being baled, anywhere from 18 to 70 cubic yards of material are condensed into a cube that's only 45 inches wide, 30 inches tall, and 62 inches long. 
Clean bales of sorted material are relocated and stacked along with similar material bales, where they are stored in the bale storage area until they are loaded onto trucks to ship to the downstream processors. Intelligent automated processing and sorting machinery from CP, MSS, and IPS deserves nothing less than the highly advanced and automated control system by Advanced MRF. Whether it's advanced touchscreen controls, operational statistics, or video monitoring systems, it's all part of this completely integrated material recovery and sorting facility. The combination of CP's engineering and manufacturing expertise, as well as Supreme Service support, along with Republic Service's operating and safety practices, make this system a success, providing maximum efficiency and throughput with minimal downtime and residue rate. We would like to thank Republic Services for the opportunity to install this system for them and we look forward to many more systems over the upcoming years.